He's like, girl. Oh, Caden was in here hanging out there and then he walked off. It's okay. Yeah, mommy, no. All right, I was getting the kids ready for school and then Jackson was really itching and I was like, oh, mm, that seems like a lot of itching. So last week they got home a knit note and I went through the, like both the boys' hair like and had a look. Didn't see any eggs, no knits, nothing, like no itch, scra like scratch marks and stuff. And I was like, okay, he's clean. Um, seems he didn't get clean. It seems like he's got them now. So I went through his hair and I found eggs and scratch marks. I didn't see any nits, but I'm sure there is some in there. Um, so I have to keep them home today. I'm going to go through their hair and treat it. Um, I've, I currently got them both stripping their bed so I can wash all that stuff. I'm going to have to go through her hair too. My hair is so long it's going to suck to do. Um, but yeah, we haven't had to deal with nits in ages. Like, yeah, my kids haven't really got them that much, which is really cool. I remember when I was a kid, I used to get them all the time and I'd have to sit there and get mum to go for my hair and it's like, ugh. Oh. I do have this like foaming stuff that you put in in the scalp and it like kills everything but you do have to comb it out. So I'm going to use that on my hair because my hair's so long I want to kill everything and then I'll comb it out in the shower. With the kids though, I do the conditioner and comb um, method so I'm going to do that for them. But... Yeah, so we have nits in the home, which is not fun. So I'm going to have to... All right, buddy. So I'm going to have to do a lot of treatments and stuff. Today, because I have three fucking kids. Oh, can you get one for Bubba? Jacks, go get you one, hun. Jacks, go get you one. Good manners. Yeah, da Jacks, go get you one, hun. Good manners. Oh, she's very upset. Look, Jacks is getting it, honey. Good manners. You said tar, didn't you? <gasps> Yay, Bravi! Good boy. Open it, open it. Good job. You eat it, baby. That's for Liz. Alright. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to go put um, a load of washing on because I have a lot of washing to do today now on top of what I already had. <laughs> but I'll get all the bedding done so that's all sorted. You're alright, Liz. Just in here you go. It's knit time. Since I got the washing in already, we're going to get started straight away because we have a lot of people to do. I'm going to show you what I use and show you how I do it just to like. Because not many know. people talk about knits. Yeah, so not many people do. Like... So it's like educate people yeah, and educate. don't be ashamed of it. Like yeah. everyone gets them, it's not a big deal. Anyway, this is what I'll be using on myself. You can get this at Coles for like 10 bucks. Um, as it says in here, kills head, body, head and body lice and their eggs. So it kills everything. So even if you don't get it out, you're not going to be itching because it's dead. Uh, it's pretty easy. I think I need to dampen my hair. Okay. Yeah, so you're dampen your hair. I'll show you anyway. Um, a cheap conditioner is what I use. When I was a kid, mum used to use KP24, which was fucking horrible. Um, and then she heard about the conditioner thing and it made things a lot better. Yes, you're going to be next, lady. Um, so I've just got this conditioner. It was a doll or something. Yeah. You need toilet paper. Um, I would suggest getting like a metal. This is kind of gross because I've like used it. Um, a metal knit comb because they don't snap like the plastic ones are fine, but the metal ones. Yeah, she's don't been using that comb break. for years. I know. Um, and then I just get a brush to brush her hair. So I'm gonna show you how to do. Let's do this. Hey, mum, guess what? Mm -hmm. um, the day um, before we went to Coles, Liz said she was going to use this. I'm watching ABC, mate. It's like ABC Kids, but for, but for bigger kids. Bye. 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 Bye.
Nothing. Nothing. Get, um, dandruff, so I'm going to show you that too. The, he um, had no nits or eggs or anything, but this is dandruff, which he mainly gets around his ears. Yeah. I've so, been having it since yeah. I was a baby. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit cold. But when you get when we get all the knits out your hair, you're gonna feel Don't so. Don't put it on the skin. That that really is cold. I'm sorry. It's gonna be so much better when you've got all the knits. Out. <laughs> what is it? Why is that? When's my turn? Your turn will be in a sec, I think. I'm gonna go around the ears. Oh yeah, I should probably say um, go around the ears and the back. Oh, there's a knit around the back of the. The neckline, that's where they mainly tend to go. So, yeah, you can show them up. Yeah, just grab the camera. Alright, yeah. right, so line. eggs are like little black dots, as you can see. I think that one might be a baby now, I don't know. And then come down to here. What focuses? There's a bit. There's an adult in it. And that is a knit. And that one. So, yeah, I'm gonna continue on, but so far just one knit and the rest are eggs. Alright, so for this one, um, you just need to dampen your hair, squeeze excess water out, done, apply to head massage into a rich leather, ensure it comes into contact with the eggs and lice, easy enough to thoroughly cover the scalp, including back of the neck area, leave hair for 10 minutes and rinse, so this stuff smells like air, so like, the only reason I'm using it is because um, I have to do my own hair, so me... Um, me just doing it, I could miss something. So with with this stuff, I'm killing anything in my hair. So if I miss pulling out an egg or a knit, it's already dead, so it doesn't really matter. Um, this stuff doesn't really burn. I mean, I feel like if you had like heaps of itch, itching on your scalp, like scratch marks, anything you put in your hair is gonna hurt a little bit. Um, I've never really had any issues. It does. Um, I think when it's killing them, they like bite into your scalp or something because. When I've had nits in the past and I've used this, um, it sort of like itches a fair bit in certain areas. Knit treatment 101. <laughs> Alright, we've all had showers now. Um, I checked Elijah in the buff. Eliza in the buff first and then when she came out, um, she was snuggling into me so I went and put her in bed and she literally went to sleep. So she's having a nap. Then I had a shower and washed that shirt my hair because it was dripping everywhere. My hair feels good now. Um, then. Caden and Jackson had a shower, but I just helped them wash their hair because when you put condition in there, it kind of goes hard and it's hard to get out and I wanted to make sure they rinsed it all out properly. So I helped them wash their hair and then they had a shower. And now I remembered I didn't eat dinner last night when I got home, so I'm currently making a toasty because that's what we had for dinner last night and I'm starving. <laughs>
Brilliant. Your hair. Your hair. When I put it to bed, she had like damp hair, so it's just dried <laughs> like that. <laughs> Who did? We got the rain. You're raining. I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. Ready? Yeah. Hey. Who's that? Kakashi. You gonna put it on? Yes. I will see it on you. <laughs> I know how to get your money out. Come on. Oh, Kakashi vlog. Who's Kakashi? <laughs> That's the. Uh, it's Naruto's train, hey, essentially. Cute. Legend. Yeah. His teacher. One of them. Yeah. Oh, got How sick is that shirt though? Very. <laughs> Same with the Has it got a cold? Huh? Has it got a cold? What? How sick is that shirt? Has it got a cold? Wow. Mum joke, bitches! Wow. <laughs> Busy editing, but now I'm going to work, wow. so I'm off. You've just been sitting there all day. Don't food. you dare! I've seen you. Go and look how many vlogs I've got up. <laughs> pie today. I, I don't like sugar pie. You'll like spaghetti pie. At least the person didn't steal anything from my room. You haven't forgot. Good morning everybody and welcome to today's vlog. Oh sugar, I should be turning. Um, just say the S word. Ah, try not to swear as much. So it's less editing for you? No, because um... Delilah, Imogen, Ella and Anna will watch our vlog, so I'm trying real hard to not swear as much. <sighs> Alright, anyway. I'm gonna go take the boys to school. Wow, doesn't do his job. Huh? <laughs> Kaden, you put Whoa. it in part. I know. Alright, um, today is a clean and bake day, so not yesterday, the day before I made a batch of spaghetti sauce. And I'm gonna make spaghetti pies, so I just put the spaghetti meat and cheese in a pie, and it's really good. Um, so I'm making those today because I was gonna do it yesterday, but then the kids were home and I had to do knit stuff and all that. But they're all good now, and they're off to school. And yeah, hopefully the, t the day goes well because all well, yesterday I didn't really get too much done because Eliza was very clingy, and she seems quite clingy today as well. Like she just has to be held all the time. Um, so we'll see how it goes, but yeah, that's my day and my game. What do we not forget? I am and shut door. Can you put that rubbish back in the car? Shut your door, Jax. Kalani, Jelani. Yeah, you have an old jumper. <laughs> it's newer than yours. Hello, you. And hello you, and hello you, me. oh and hello me, hello granddad. Alright, it's been a while, um, I managed to get the laundry room tidied up and vacuumed and then I cleaned in the kitchen, I did like a couple of the dishes, I got one more to go, um, and cleaned off the benches and stuff, but now I'm going to make the pies, so I like the Nancy app and I wanted to get the cleaning done while she was awake and then I'll just do this when she was sleeping because I can't really leave this, I kind of need to keep going once I'm started. So yeah, um, as I said, these are spaghetti pies, or spaghetto, as I say, because, I mean, it's super weird to put spaghetti in a pie, but it's seriously so good. Do not knock it until you try it. After hours on my feet, this is what we got. I haven't counted them up yet, but I'm exhausted. Eight, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 
43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. I did do 60 then because I ate one. I'm taking name suggestions for my um, shepherd's pie that I make because it's really not shepherd's pie at all. Um, so if you have any, let me know. So I'll just explain it again. Let me just sit down with my coffee because Eliza's probably going to wake up soon. Um, so it's mince fried with onion and garlic. You add whatever veggies you want, barbecue sauce, gravy powder, whatever herbs and spices you want, a little bit of water, I think. Cook that together, put that in a pie, and add mashed potato and cheese on top. So, I mean, it's similar to a shepherd's pie, but it's not like, if you've had shepherd's pie and you've had my pie, you know that they're completely opposite, so, like in flavor scale. So, comment down below with any name suggestions, because I really need some. So, I've got spaghetto pie I don't care if it's funny either I'll use it um, then I have my normal one like creamy chicken and bacon pie and all that but like that recipe I think I've said it on here before but I came across it when we were struggling with money I think maybe when Caden was little and I just kind of put together a meal with whatever we had in the house and that's what came out of it the ghetto shepherd's pie as I call it at the moment um, so it's kind of cool that like you can find something out of whatever like I always tend to find the sunshine in a rainy day type thing um so like yeah we were broke close to payday and I needed to make a meal and I made one and it turned out to be fucking awesome mind you there was a couple people who really hate it like Peter she despises my ghetto pie <laughs> she hates it but um yeah most people like it I quite like it so yeah, that's that. I'm going to sit and drink my coffee and I think Eliza will probably wake up soon. So, yeah. So Becky! Say ta. <laughs> How was school well? Awesome. All right, I'm just getting ready to go to work. I have a few stops to make before I go to work, so I'm going a bit earlier. Um, so I made all those spaghetti pies. I've been packaging them, but I promised Peter some, so I've got her a bowl full. Um, and then there's this girl. I don't really know her that well. Um, how we like met sort of is she bought a car of me like years ago I think it was before I had Jackson maybe um and yeah, I've just had her on Facebook since then and we've just like kind of comment on each other's stuff every now and then and that but anyway um she did YouTube so we had that in common but I haven't seen her post anything in a while so I don't know if she's still onto that or not um but she started doing like baking and all that and she's made like a little businessy thing out of it like you can purchase stuff off of her her i'll link her instagram down below because she just um i just got hold of it i'll tell you what it's called and i'll show you let's see it's called sweet treats but sweet is spelled different um if you want to check it out um anyway there it is some, some goodies and whatnot um, so, as I said, I'll link that down below if you'd like to check it out. But anyway, um, I put up a funny TikTok today about how I was, like, sick of making pies because I've made, like, over, way over 100 pies, like, maybe 150 pies in the last few days. Um, and she commented on it and said, oh, we should exchange, like, I'll, like, exchange some food or whatever. So, um, I've got a, <laughs> it's pretty ghetto, I've got, like, a target box of pies for her. <laughs> She always packages her stuff really nice as well, so that's gonna look really ghetto, but it's fine. So, and she's gonna give me some sweet treats or whatever. So I'll show you them and um, try them. I'm probably gonna go drop this off and then I'll take the treats to work because there's a fridge there and then bring them home and then try them. So yeah. Looks pretty magical. I don't know what everything is. I'm gonna guess some things though because you can kind of tell. I'm pretty sure these are like Malteser kind of Maybe fudge? Not sure on that. That's definitely Kinder and Bueno brownie. 
that I'm not too sure on, but it might be biscoffy slice or something. And then this is a biscoffy cupcake. So let's do taste test. Mmm. Yeah, I like that stuff. That's my favourite so far. What's this one? I think it's. We don't know the name. Wagon wheel. Wait, well, you, you think you'd take a little sample a bit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you you're chewing in the fucking mic? ASMR. Yeah, people uh, like that stuff. No, they don't. You're welcome. Let's feel. I'm gonna eat all of that. Fuck off, Kerry. Just come in your corner. I want to try that one though. <laughs> Can you come here, a decent chunk? Carry on. Mmm. It's got quite a few bits. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. People will watch your videos more now. What the fuck? Because they can hear. What if she watches my vlog? She's going to go. Oh. That I loved her desserts. That was really good. Now we can try one of them. We've done them. No, we didn't. Which Malteser? Oh, I didn't give you any. 